How crucial is it for Certified Internal Auditor CIA Part 3 candidates to understand the concept of Electronic Data Interchange or EDI? Welcome to a conversation about EDI, a digital language that businesses around the globe use to communicate. This structured method enables different organizations to exchange information electronically, bypassing the traditional paper route. If you're an internal auditor, understanding EDI is paramount to ensuring the integrity, confidentiality and availability of business data. So what exactly is EDI? In simple terms, it's the computer to computer exchange of business documents in a standard electronic format between business partners. Think invoices, purchase orders, shipment notifications and other essential business documents. Unlike shooting a PDF file via email, EDI documents can be directly processed by the recipient's computer system. This process cuts down on manual intervention, boosts speed and accuracy, and slashes processing costs significantly. Now, why should internal auditors care about EDI? Here's why. First, risk management. Auditors need to evaluate the security risks linked to EDI transactions these include unauthorized access, data tampering, and loss of data. If you understand EDI, you can better identify and mitigate these risks. Second, compliance and control. EDI systems must adhere to various standards and regulations to ensure data integrity and confidentiality. As an auditor, you're responsible for making sure these systems comply with relevant standards like ANSI X12 or EDIFACT and that appropriate controls are in place for validation, authentication and non-repudiation of transactions. Third, efficiency and cost savings. By automating data exchange, EDI can offer significant cost savings and efficiency gains. As an auditor, you should assess whether the organization is maximizing these benefits while maintaining proper controls and data quality. Lastly, business continuity. EDI systems are critical to many businesses' operational continuity. As an auditor, you must evaluate the robustness of these systems, ensuring there are adequate backup and recovery mechanisms to handle system failures. As we wrap up our conversation on EDI, here are a few key considerations for auditors. Ensure data integrity and security. Make sure that EDI transmissions are secure, employing encryption, secure file transfer protocols and other security measures. Verify compliance. Ensure that EDI practices comply with applicable standards and regulations, including data protection laws. Assess system and process controls. Check whether there are adequate controls around EDI systems, including access controls, authentication mechanisms, and audit trails. Evaluate vendor management. Since EDI often involves third-party service providers, Auditors must also evaluate the risks and controls associated with these vendors. In conclusion, understanding EDI and its implications is a valuable asset for internal auditors. It helps ensure data integrity, compliance and efficiency in an increasingly digital and interconnected business landscape.